Boys, it's still the same day that we just fixed all the idle. Dad's over there watching the potato video. Peace. I'm over here and today we're going to be replacing the distributor cap and the rotor. Um, when the car idles, there's like a weird pinging noise, like the rotor is hitting a, one of the, what are these called, terminals? Or, it's like hitting one of the contacts wrong, so we're going to try replacing the distributor cap and the rotor. See if we can eliminate that problem because that might solve our check engine light as well. Do you want to skirt over here real quick, Josh, and show them? It's just three screws you have to undo. There's the two right here, and there's one directly underneath. I pretty much already took this one, these two out, so I'm gonna unscrew the one on the bottom. I am gonna leave these cables connected to the cap for now so that I can remember the order when I put them on this cap. Why do you have to take that off? So that I can have room. <sighs> Boom, man, the seal came off, sweet. What's holding right. the rotor on? Is it just a nut or is it a Phillips screwdriver? It's uh, right in the middle of it. It's a Phillips screw. It's down right here. here. It's right here. No, it should be right here. Right you sure it's right here? It's right, 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 here. right here, John. John, look dude, in there. It's not a screw. Dude, I'm telling you. It's right here, dude. You better look at your. Dude! Look at the new one. Take the. Where's the dude. new one? Dude! Shit. That looks terrible. How terrible is it now? Okay, thank you. Did you guys steal that? No, they gave yeah, us those. We stole that. Here you are, no, the, the rotor. You you me, wanna, hand me the rotor. Let me see the rotor. You want to help out my channel, bro? Dude, look. See? It's right, there. The rotor. It's right there, dude. I'm not, I'm not talking to you anymore about this. Right, you're right. I need to crank the motor a little bit. Boys, on the rotor, there's just a brass screw. You just have to undo that screw to be able to pull the rotor off. However, it is on pretty tight and it's a pretty soft screw. So when you use this Phillips screwdriver, and that's the only thing you can use, it's just a screw, you have to put a lot of pressure towards the rotor so they don't strip the screw. Because if you strip the screw, you're going to be in bad, bad news, bad times, boys. I already got this one out. Rotor comes off. And uh, it's actually... It's actually shaped so that you can't put it on wrong. And the screw hole will line up right where it's supposed to go. Let me see that. I wonder if this... Just tighten it down as much as I can without stripping it. Okay, we got a brand new seal. This is shaped. It's not shaped. I have to shape it? No, just push it into the thing. It'll shape itself? It'll shape itself. For real? Wowie. Wowie. So now you think put the new cap on and then transfer the cables. Okay, easy peasy. Where did I put the new cap? I keep moving it. It's right here. It's right in front of me. This is actually better. That freaking old distributor cap is ugly. All right, boys, so it is the next day. A um, little bit of a long story, but unfortunately yesterday while I was recording, I forgot that I had to be back at work. So I had to stop what I was doing, put everything back in and clean up my tools and get to work. So I apologize, I just like stopped recording and I did finish the job. So I will show you with the old distributor cap exactly what happened. So in the last video clip, you saw me take this rotor off of the distributor. I was saying that it's shaped so that you can't put it on the wrong way. So when you're going to replace it with the new rotor, you just put it on exactly how you're supposed to. You can't really mess it up. And then you just put the screw back through this hole. Yeah, there you go. You guys can see it. This hole right here. That screw locks the rotor onto the distributor. And then all you gotta do is just put a little bit of bit of put a little bit of dielectric grease inside of these like terminals or whatever these are called. I believe they'd be called terminals. Oh, got some on my pants. I got some dielectric grease on my pants, boys. That looks sketchy. Yucky, yucky. Next, you have to put this inside the distributor. This is like an O-ring, but it's not really an O. It's a D. You gotta put that inside the distributor side of the thing. So not on the cap, on the distributor. It'll fit into a slot, nice and easy. And then you just put the new distributor cap on and tighten down the screws. It should come with brand new screws. They should already be set inside the distributor cap. And then what I did is, you guys might have noticed I took this off without unplugging the, the cables. That way when it came time to plug the cables into the new distributor cap, I just took them off of the spots where they were on this one and matched them up with the new distributor. So I didn't have to like remember which cable came from where. It was all just like laid out for me because I left them plugged into this. So I'll show you guys the new distributor cap right now. All right boys, here's the new distributor cap. Screws are in, cables are plugged in. 
dielectric grease inside of each one of these cables. And that's really all there is to it. I don't really have much else to say. I didn't have to unplug any cables back here or anything. Unfortunately, now my engine is throwing a different code. It's throwing code one, which is the oxygen sensor, which is a really big bummer because I literally just replaced it and I don't really know what to do. I don't know if the oxygen, oxygen sensor is failing. I'm gonna try starting the car again now that it's warm and see, but regardless, this code seems to be fixed. Code 41 and code 43 don't seem to be a problem anymore. So that makes me happy. Now I just have to deal with code one. So boys, this thing's starting to look pretty nice. She's starting to drive really nice, really fun car overall. And that's pretty much where I'm wrapping up today's video. I know that it was a short one. I know that it was definitely shorter than uh, some of my most recent videos. I hope it was informative and I hope it helped some of you guys out if you're doing the same job to your B18 or B series or D series or whatever it is, any Honda motor really. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, get the heck out of here. Also, if you like this video, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it, it really helps me out. And lastly, as I always say, remember to plan, commit, execute and attain your goals boys peace also replace your distributor cap